Find the value of c such that the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus c over x minus c raised to the x power is equal to 9. So the goal here is to solve for c, and we're going to use the fact that e to the ln of x is equal to x. So let's do that to both sides. So to the left side, we have e to the limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x plus c over x minus c, and that's going to be raised to the x power. Now, the natural log brings the exponent in front, so that's just going to be e the limit, and then x times ln of x plus c over x minus c, and that's equal to 9. Now, the goal here is to use L'Hopital's rule because uh, we have just infinity times 0. So let's rewrite x as just 1 over x, 1 over 1 over x. So we have e to limit x approaching infinity. 1 over x is going to be in the denominator. So that natural log will be in the numerator. Now we have 0 over 0 for the limit, so you just have to take the derivative. Now the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. For the derivative of the natural log, we always do 1 over the inside, whatever's in the parentheses, which is just a reciprocal of that, and that's x minus c over x plus c. Now multiply that. We want to take the derivative of x plus c over x minus c. We know that the denominator is going to be x minus c squared. The derivative of x plus c is 1. And we're going to multiply that by x minus c. Now take the derivative of the denominator is 1. Multiply that by the top. At this point, we want to simplify. So we have e to the limit x approaches infinity negative 1 over x squared in the denominator. And then we'll leave the, actually, the, the x minus c is going to cancel with this. And then the top, we can simplify because the axes are going to cancel. And so we have negative c minus c. That's negative 2c. And that's going to be over x plus c times x minus c, which you can just write it as x squared minus c squared. And so now we can bring up the negative 1 over x squared, basically just multiplying the top and the bottom by negative x squared. So these cancel. And then we have negative 2c times negative x squared is 2c x squared. It's going to be over x squared minus c squared. For the limit here, we just only care about the dominant term. So it's basically 2cx squared over x squared, which you can just eliminate the x squareds. This will go to 0. And so you have 2c as the limit. And so you want this to equal 9, which means take the natural log of both sides and get 2c is equal to natural log of 9. And so C is 1 half L of L of 9, which you can actually rewrite by taking the 1 half and putting it as the exponent of 9. And square root of 9 will just be 3. So final answer is C equals L of 3.